Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. And what the hell just happened in one day that I've been not playing? Like, we got like six planets. Six Jade Falcon planets. Whoever slipped for these planets, my god, thank you so much. You guys are just amazing. Look at this. Plan, well, plan, like, what? What? I, I, I thought maybe, oh, maybe, you know, Iron Hold has been flipped over or whatever, but no! There's like six planets. There's six of them. Guys, amazing. <laughs> That's just insane. Well, yeah, man. Okay, so I was going to do a few things today. Um, I was going to refit a couple of mechs. Um, because we've had a lot of really great um, comments. Um, if you have a look at episode 34 um, in the comments section, there's a lot of really great comments uh, in that in that episode um, in the uh, comments section. Also, I think in the previous episode or previous one of the two previous episodes, there's a, also another comment um, about an auto cannon 20 build, which I want to try an ultra 20 build, um, but. We'll see what we can do today. I don't know. I was planning on doing that until I logged in and I'm like, wait, there's seven planets. I counted wrong. Seven Jade Falcon planets. So Clan Wolf has taken a big beating here. Now, that's not to say that they'll be able to uh, um, not hang on to this. Um, like, I don't know if Jade Falcon will be able to hang on, but there's a lot of fighting going on. So I want to get in on some of this. We're going to hop over to Lum here, I think, and go against Snow Raven. Uh, uh, like, we've also got some stuff going on here, I think. Bear Claw is another option. Um, I want to, yeah, I just want to, like, go off here and, and definitely uh, get into some of this fighting. Uh, this has got Clan Wolf. We have opportunities for Jade Falcon here. Is this Comstar? Oh, just Clan, sorry. Um, okay, yeah, so we've got the opportunity to actually get in on some of this fighting. Uh, and I want to do that. So if we can, if we can build a mech quickly, uh, I will probably do that. But we may have to wait till next episode to outfit the mechs. Um, let's just have a quick look in the mech bay and see what we got. If we're going to be jumping in a short period of time, I want to be ready when we get there with the main lance. So uh, the main lances are the ones that I was looking at for changing some of the builds. Now I think I was going to leave this Nova for now. It's the ER large. ER medium bills. I think I was going to leave him as a pinpoint, and I think I was looking at maybe changing the Nova E up a bit, a bit since it is the, yeah, this was the AC10 version, which I was, or Ultra AC10. I was thinking to switch into the Ultra 20, but I just don't know if we have the weight for that. So this is a 10 ton weapon, and I think the Ultra 20 is a 13 ton. Uh, where are you? Plus, we need more ammo too, right? That's the other thing. We're gonna need. Well, we may not. With the Ultra 20, you may not need more ammo. Um, so it's only 12 tons. Actually, that's not too bad. With three tons of ammo, though. Uh, do we have Ultra 20 double ammo? I thought at some point we picked that up. Or do we have any Ultra 20 ammo? Ammo Ultra AC 20. Yeah, we've just got the regular seven tons. We got lots of ammo. Um, that would be seven tons of continue. Yeah, that would be seven turns of continuous firing if we just swapped this and this out. We'd have to pull out a couple of ER mediums as well, and then maybe change one to the pulse, which means we would drop our heat, which means we'd be able to add more. Let's do a quick look at that. I'd like to see if we can get that because with this. Uh, bonus AC system, the enhanced imaging with the minus two recoil, minus three recoil. Uh, I think that could be very well be a good possibility. We're going to need to at least pull two ER mediums out. So let's do that right away. Uh, for sure, let's get four tons in here. So I think we need at least four tons. And let's find our Ultra 20 down here. Uh, here we go. So we're over by one. And that's fine though, because our heat is going to be really good right now, I think, right? Yeah, 80, 41. So let's start pulling some double heat sinks. Let's pull some out of this torso. Let's grab this one out. What are we at now? 72, 51. Yeah, so 
Yeah, this is going to be how what this guy's got a jam multiplier of four, two recoil, so we should be fine with recoil on this thing. Um, I don't know if we need more than 10 tons of ammo though, I really don't, or 10 turns of ammo, that is. Um, I mean, we could pull out the extra double heat. Well, let's have a look. Uh, if we're going to be close range, what's our range on this? Three, 360 is not bad. So the suggestion was to pair this with, with pulse lasers, which I think is actually quite a good one. But what I would actually like to do, this guy's pretty fast, right? Well, he's not that fast because we, we've added some TSMs to increase the speed. Um, the sprint distance is up by a little bit, but not much. So... Exchanger is one ton, right? We might want to switch that with the cooling pod. It's all, well, it's, I mean, we're losing a bit, but we gain half a ton. What are we looking at here? Um, let me think about this for a second. So, got to keep the watchdog. Can't lose that at all. Another double heat sink could come out if we had to. Don't have to worry about space. So if we're going to look at laser weapons, let's say we go with... See, the, the clan medium pulses have got better range. But you've also got the accuracy too, right? So if the auto cannon is not hitting, you're hitting better with the pulse laser. So at least you are hitting with something. Uh, let's pull this out. And let's go with a couple of medium pulses in the other arm. I'm just thinking if we lose one arm, then we've still got weapons in the other one. Let's pull this let's pull this out. Let's pull the exchanger out. Uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, pretty good. So let's go back and we've got a ton to play with, which isn't much. We've almost got full armor. So I think maybe what we do. I don't want to pull out the patchwork, so let's put this patchwork in the CT. Less chance of getting it destroyed. Um this is a plus three chance to hit, right? Yeah, so plus three, plus five, plus six. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, the firepower seems to have gone up, but it's whether or not we land the 20. That's the big thing. Even if we get one of the two hits out of the 20, it's still a lot of damage, right? Damage is 100 per hit, so... Um, usually these were not, they were down to 90, I think, at one point on the ultras, but I guess they put it back to 100. Um, I want to leave the TSMs in. Now, I don't think we have any more. Just want to double check if we have any more TSMs. I thought we lost. We do have the extra arm mount, but I want to save that. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice to pull the Pharaoh out and put some stealth armor on, but I don't think that's really a viable thing to do. Uh, TTS weapons accuracy would have been nice. It's three tons, of like that's the thing, right? And we require a clan fire control system, which we don't have. So we're getting plus two accuracy, minus one recoil off this for the ultra. Um, we'll check when we're down here if there's another clan fire control system. Maybe we switch it up. Um, Advanced TC. Yeah, that's not clan though. Uh, yeah, so we're stuck with what we have. That's fine though. I don't mind that. Um, so we had the, the half a ton. We were thinking, uh, what were we thinking again with the half ton? Oh yeah, we need the, ex well, yeah, let's drop that. Um, let's go with the clan exchanger. Or just even a, well, so the heat sink cooling pod, I was thinking, not the exchanger. Um, there was also the, the um, I mentioned of getting the uh, prototype uh, heat sink kits put in. Um, without extra prototype heat sinks, I don't think this is going to work at all. So we've got to find some more of those. Um, just having the minus 20% weapon heat here is okay, but without the extra heat sinking, um, it's a difficult proposition. So let's drop this in. Uh, this is volatile, right? Yeah, so we're going to stick it in here. Um, I wish we had half tons of ammo. 
That would have been nice. Um, Ultra 20 ammo. Let's make sure we get the Ultra 20. It would have been really nice to have the Ultra 20 ammo. Um, extra two turns of firing is always good. But I think 10 turns of shooting is probably more than enough. So let's go with that. And then we'll add a half ton of armor. So let's go back up on the legs. Let's get our center torso full again. And then whatever's left on the back. Yeah, we don't have enough. Well, that's fine. We'll run short. I don't care. Um, so we're full armor again. That's a bonus. All right. So actually, you know what? We can... Can we? Do we want to? No, we don't want to. Let's confirm this. Actually, if we do this, right, then it's just one, two, three. We can save the 0.25 tons for somewhere else. Yeah, so this is like nothing to change one day. So let's confirm this. Maybe we do do a couple builds here. I was concerned about the time, but let's uh, manage our task real quick. We got to jump here real fast. So uh, the Mad Cat needs to, it's already up here. Jenner, don't care about Let's bring the Nova up. Um,. And then let's bring this storm crow up. Okay, and I wanted to bring forward. We'll do that after the financial report. I'm going to bring forward the cougar because I want to swap out the Jenner for the cougar. Um. So, yeah, let's get moving. Let's go to Star Map. We got to get some stuff done here, guys. We got to get some stuff done. Let's get this clan homeworld and Jade Falcon and uh, Jade Falcon hands if we can. Four and a half skulls. We should be able to pick up some missions there. So let's set course. Got to keep this steamroller moving. Okay, so someone was asking when we were doing uh, more upgrades to the to the Argo, and there it is. One of them, anyway. Got to get some more going, I think, at some point. And my mouse is freaking out on me again. Come on, guys. Come on, guy. All right, hang on a second here. I'm plugging the mouse. Plugging the mouse back in. It does this every once in a while. I've only had this with the Black Mamba mouse. I don't know why. It's a Razor mouth mouse. I don't understand why it does this every once in a while. It just kind of goes a little cuckoo. Um, I had the other... I had a different Razor mouse a little while ago. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but um, I never had any problems with that one. But this one just goes cuckoo every once in a while. Not that often. Once or, once or so a week or so, but it's still a pain in the butt. Anyway, um, yeah, so we were going to go to Mech Bays. Let's have a look at the Mad Cat, see if there's anything we can do with that in a short period of time. Now, there was a suggestion about um, trying a heavy um, large laser build. And, see, I don't mind the idea of the heavy large lasers uh, because of the 90 damage for four tons, right? Like, it's it's huge. Like, it, don't get me wrong. It's, it's absolutely, like, huge damage bonus. But with the heat at 70, it really super limits you to any other weapons you can be firing at the same time. Um, there's also the comment about using the improved versions over the non-improved versions, but um, it could explode if suffered critical damage, right? So it is a little volatile, so you have to be careful, right? Explode for 45 damage when, de when destroyed. So you most likely want to be running with case with this wherever you put it. Um, just because if it did take critical damage, you don't want your arm to completely blow off, especially if you have other weapons in there. Um, but I think this is a, one of those builds where you really, like, I really need to sit down and think about how I'm going to put it together. So I'm going to, I'm going to pass on this one for today. I, I will look at it though. Don't, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to spend the time right now while we have chance to go after, um, some more, uh, um, planet flipping for Jade Falcon, but I will have a look at it, um, for heavy medium laser build because that 90 pinpoint damage is really nice although the 70 heat it's four tons 70 heat right i, I don't know I, I i'm really on the fence about it um the damage is nice but that's about it right well damage and weight those are both nice but the heat and the accuracy i'm not thrilled about so it's one of those things, it's a situational thing where if it's going to work, it'll work great. And if it doesn't work, it's going to, at least we have to make sure the rest of the lands can pull up for the fact that we're not doing anything. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's just have a look here. I'm not going to change any more mechs at the moment. Um, so let's keep going. I'm really, really hoping that, uh, all right, next, accept. 
let's bring that cougar forward because we want to refit that to it well actually you know what yeah let's do it we'll probably do it this month anyway so let's bring it forward real quick uh, i want to take the gen out of service once it's repaired uh, so storage light max bottom and cougar let's bring you forward 35 ton uh, let's ready this guy it's got way more hard points easier to fix so let's bring that forward get rid of that Jenner that'll save some components too I think come on let's get there be nice to have this as the uh, as the Jade Falcon world and my mouse is still giving me issues come on buddy mouse pad is clean everything's good all right so um, let's keep going Gonna hang on to the C bills right now. I was thinking about spending a bit more on the Argo, but I want to hand. Thank you. I want to ha have hang on to at least four million C bills. So when they do go to the nine nine eight or so the nine 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 upgrade, hopefully that's what it will be with uh, the one point five upgrade for BattleTech. Um, that we'll have the C bills to fix our mechs up. Now I still haven't heard anything else about the. Um, um, progress of that so everything is still recommending this build that I'm running right now so ah, figures four and a half a recovery eh ultimate target is key sign to weapon we could probably do this it's going to be like one lance we get there we recover the guy and then another lance most likely see what else if we can get anything else here nope we're going to take that one though yeah, we're going to take that one. So let's have a quick look in the barracks, top up our pilots. Oh, man. Okay, I'm excited already. This is going to be good. Okay, so I think our piloting, we've already checked through our pilots. We're already pretty darn good. Our main lance is actually ready to go. All right. Whoops. Com uh, contracts. Here we go. Four and a half skull. Uh, we've increased our, our difficulty from normal to hard, so this should be an interesting run. Don't know if we can pull it off, but we're going to attempt it. Like we need to get started here somewhere. Local pirates aren't going to... This is against local pirates? No, oh, that's fine. Jade Falcon, 14. Rep with these guys. Let's pull it off. Uh, yeah, the adder needs... These guys all need to be fixed, so we'll worry about that later. All right, let's deploy and get this sucker done. All right, guys, here we go. Locate the scientist and retrieve her. Oh, yeah, I hate this map. All right. So our speed and our stealth, depending on how heavy these guys are, are really what's going to keep us alive here. As every, you know, as all our battles, pretty much. I want to stay together until I know what we're up against here. Four and a half skulls. Could be a lot of heavies or assaults. Could be. They are pirates too, so you never know what the hell they're... They never know what the hell they got. Oh, man. Alright, let's just keep using the trees here. So we got Ebola, Drillson, Hetzer, and a Banshee. Ooh, okay. Thank goodness for the vehicles. Those should be relatively Commander. easy to kill. Sick the Ultra 20 on them, and that'll be the end of them. Yes, Commander. I don't know if we should try and max out our attacks first on that Banshee, though. Order. Depends on where he moves, right? Ooh. A little shy there. A little shy of the woods. Yeah, they can't see us. They cannot see us. So, uh, how far can we move this way? Not very far. Um, Waiting for order. Problem is, is if we crest and fire... The issue then becomes, 
Yeah, I don't think I can. I can probably sneak by that way. If we crest and fire now, uh, they can all shoot at us. And I would rather limit the first contact to a few vehicles. Yeah, stop complaining. Your brother's behind you, just just hang on. I call them brothers because they're like got the same voice. It's weird, my uh my boss at work, well one of my bosses at work, he's got like three brothers. And they've all got this same talk. The way they talk is just all identical. Their voices are just, the pitches in their voice are all slightly different. But they've all got this kind of McCurley drool to them that they just kind of like, they all sound the same. Like they all talk the same. It's just really interesting to hear. When they show up in the, when their brothers show up in the office, it's just like, it's like, you're like talking to your boss because they've all got the same way to, that they talk. It's just funny. Which is why I call Griff or uh, El Duce and uh, um, Blockade Brothers. All right, um, what do we got armor-wise on this guy? Can we pan that side? Do you think? Seventy percent. We may get lucky. Uh, I know we can kill this guy. Well, you know what? How is this guy doing? Because I don't think these guys are going to be able to crest to kill this guy. So let's get rid of this Infernus. He could be a problem for us. The Hetzer I don't like, but it was iffy whether or not we could kill him. He's like, do I get that shot or not? Yeah, see, we, did, we wouldn't have made it. Roger. Just don't quite have the speed with these last two Novas. And that's fine. I was hoping to crest together, but we needed to kill that vehicle. Take the opportunity. Banshee's going on 14, eh? Hmm. That's a little better there, I think. Little better. So I think our next target is this Hetzer. I want to get uh, El Duce's Ace Ultra 20 on it. Maybe we can take it out if we get lucky and hit the same location twice. <clears throat> if not, it'll be an easy follow-up. What's this Banshee running? Oh, uh, no. I think the next target's Banshee. Yeah, thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for showing up. Good thing it isn't 4 max. It might have been a bit of a problem. Chainsaw Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Booms. We're not getting anywhere close to this guy. Only 129 melee though. But then when he follows up with all this other stuff. The Chainsaw and the Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball is like 60 damage, right? Chainsaw is like, what, 9 times 5 or something? Oh god, let's stay at range. question is, do we want the destruction of the Banshee? I think we do. I think we don't mess around because we don't know what's coming up next. So 51%, okay. See, we got pulse lasers here at this range, which is an okay range for pulse laser, but the Ultra has got the same percentage to hit. And that's what I mean. Like, if you want your secondary heavy heading weapons, you want them to be hitting the same as your other ones, right? So that's why I don't like the idea of throwing in the heavy lasers, unless you've got a heavy, like a ton, tons of modifiers to help it out, um, which we had to do with the Ultra 20, right? Uh, it just, I don't know. It's hard for me to decide whether it's totally worth it or not. Uh, but when it does hit though, don't get me wrong, when it does connect, it's devastating. Let's stay in the trees here. Provide a bit of cover and see here we go. Heavy medium lasers. Now this isn't, once again, it's not the optimal range. And I'm only going for the chance to hit, but the pulse lasers are going to hit way better than this. So... 
Now they're not going to do the same damage when they hit, but at least you're guaranteed with the hits, right? And in some situations, there's those clutch situations where you just have to have it hit, right? On the move. Full speed. But, you know, once again, you know, as um, Fists of Dorn mentioned, if you actually uh, read the uh, his long post, uh, you can't really compare weapons that way, because that's not what they're really designed for. So, and I understand where he's coming from. I totally understand where he's coming from. Um... Eighty fives, eh? Maybe. Well, at least we knocked him over. He's not going to hit. He's not going to hit us very well this turn. Hetzer didn't do anything, eh? This guy had taken more damage. We could rush the Hetzer, but he, we can't have this guy melee us. I just don't think he's got the juice to get in close. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, make him mad at me. I got plenty of evasion. I'm fine with that. Um... Getting closer to our other guys here. And we're right against the wall. The Hetzer's visible though. Uh, I'm going to reserve here. Yep. Do you think you could kill that Hetzer? Can't see him from here though. Possibility, but I don't know if that's within Banshee range. He's up a cliff. He's got to go around the cliff here. Right? He's got to go around this. So it might not be in Banshee range here. Double time. Let's go. Let's try and remove this AC-20. Um, and do it in a way that we can actually get rid of it. Making sure we hit here. Okay, he's set up for a kill. Which I'm sure Mockingbird could finish up. Without a problem, she should be s technically safe, theoretically safe. Full speed, no target. I know we got this guy right here, so we're gonna multi-target this up. Uh, we're gonna go in against this guy and this guy. Uh, Bs are gonna go to the Banshee and the rest to A. That's the other thing we gotta do. We gotta check kills again. Ah, nice one hit. Uh, we gotta check kills again. Mockingbird was at the top, but I know uh, Blockade is actually moving up. So how... 64. See? That's even better with the Ultra 20 now. We're moving in. No shooting. Just running. Got it. Let's warlord this up. Let's hammer him. Firing. Oh, yeah. Follow it up with a little pulse accuracy. That hit something good. So where do we get here? Got an option for a legging, which I think we're going to take. Uh, it's too bad that we used our precision strike, but we're all within range here. So let's offensive push this and hope we get some good hits on this leg. Ah, we don't have a chance for a legging here. We're just going to shoot him. Maybe get lucky and knock him down. Okay, I got rid of his spike fist. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. At least if he does decide to come after us, we got lots of evasion, so. Okay, a small bit of damage. What's the drunk ass Banshee doing now? Wobbling around over here. Uh, yeah, he is in range. Shit. 
Oh, thank goodness. And I missed that. Ah! How many times did you hit me? I have no idea. If we can claim this leg, he's not going anywhere. Yeah, he barely even scratched us. A little bit of leg damage, a little bit of CT, a little bit of torso, no head hits. Yeah, it's a good thing he missed with that punch, though. I don't think it would have taken the arm, but there is the chance that it could have. I think we all take this guy's leg off. You haven't used your war warlord yet, so it's your turn. Let's do this and firing. All right, one of those heavies hits. Ah, she's a killer, man. Love her. Marry me, girl. Marry me. Our kids would be strong with the offensive push. Um. All right, Griff. Let's go for the legging. Or we could just hit him in the CT. That kind of works too. I don't even think. Well, we got. I think we got one leg hit. That was it. Waiting for orders. All right. There's our range. Now. Yeah. Let's just do this. Get a bit of evasion. It's either the leg or nothing. Torso. Sure. One less target. At least he's gone. It's gonna be ass for salvage, but whatever. On my way. Double time. Alright, finish this guy up, please. Here it comes. Nice shooting though. Badass. Almost got him. We missed with one. We would, if they had all hit, they we would have we would have gotten him. Oh well. Blockades become super accurate too. That's the other thing. I wonder if we switch up the builds. Then he's become super accurate. Maybe we pull off. Maybe we go with the same build that we've got in the Mad Cat right now. We we put on two ER larges and two ER mediums. It's about the same damage output he's doing now, just more 260 pinpoints as opposed to a 60 and 333 pinpoints. Come on, buddy, where are you moving? Yep. You're gonna steal this kill, aren't you? Oh, just don't have the juice for it. <clears throat> She'll steal his kill, though. Destruction. Well, you can pick up the guy. Or the girl, scientist, scientist. There it is, folks. No reinforcements, so that wasn't so bad. So that was basically free rep, free salvage. 45,000 in damage. I don't think we made that much damage. Uh, we'll, we'll take that much damage, but... Uh, Banshee part, and then the rest, let's figure out what we're going to do. Um, huh. Two eighty maybe X. Well, that's two point five mil. We can sell that. Two eighty engine. We've got two of these already. Uh, we're not doing any melee max. So I'm not taking any stuff for melee. Streak ammo. We've got lots of right. We got five. So we don't need any more. Um, let's take the let's take the two cores. Sure. Gives us options to build stuff. I mean, as clans, you don't need as many cores because most. Uh, 
Most of your mechs are core built in. M pod. Six times ten damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's confirm this. Alright. So a bunch of stuff we can sell. Not so bad. Okay. Atreus Clan took Atreus from uh, Jade Falcon, really, eh? Well, we know they're going to do it, so we did make some sea bills off this. Let's have a look where that was. Uh, let's see here. Right here. We just put 30% on Jade Falcon here. I think we need to jump back over there. Who do we got here? Wolf is trying to hit this planet. There, here they come though, eh? Falcon's Unchained, nice. This is a double jump, five skull world. Don't think we can really help out too much there. This is 100%. Could return home. Doom Patrol, Hotbox, Marauders. I have no idea who those guys are. Rocket City, Retros, Clan Wolf. Um, who's here? Nightmares, Marauders. It's a 13 day jump there, 11 days here. I think we take the 13 days and go. Try and stomp these guys back. I mean, I wish we had more mechs that we could take more missions with, but uh, let's go here. Set course. Oh uh, yeah, well, you know, we are Clan Jade Falcon after all. Bonnie back from being in exile. Actually, yeah, let's just go. I'm, I was going to outfit mechs so that we can get them fixed on the way, but we're going to be fighting. Oh, God, we'd take this or not. No, I'm not taking the black market stuff. Ah, do we? Yeah, we can just continue looting what we need. I don't think we're going to get any clan gear in the black market, so. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know. Do black markets actually supply clan gear in clan space? That's a good question. I have no idea. I don't want to risk two and a half million right now for that. You've arrived at our destination, Commander. Um, let's just continue and get right into fighting here. Got to stop Wolf here if we can. Contracts. Alright, we got some we can take. Excellent. Uh, let's take a look again. Uh, maybe even one our second lands could take. Um, so let's go forward observers. Which one's going to be? The, nah, not the general. Stealing is a form of flatter. Capture base. What's the fastest? Forward observers, maybe? Um, local government. We want. Is there anything against wolf here? Local pirates. Inbound dropship from Clan Wolf. Let's take this one. It's going to be e relatively easy to do. Uh, which will let us pull off another um, battle today. So let's deploy. Okay, so just, guys, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm recording this Sunday, March March uh, 24th, so um, if you guys are seeing this episode, it'll be a couple of days after this, so I'm sure the map will definitely change by then, but I uh, do want to get into trying to contribute to uh, helping Jade Falcon out since we've been away for so long. Got it. We can finally actually start doing something here. I can't believe the speed of this mech is crazy. Look at the evasion on the damn thing. Look at it. Quick stepping it. 
The only thing I don't like about these guys is that I can't put defensive gyros on them to increase their evasion. Okay, what do we got? Arctic Wolf 2. A little friend. Yeah, it figures. That guy's got to die hard. Orion. Okay. We got the tools. We got the talent. Yep. We got the Ultra AC 20. Little friend. You're going to receive the Ultra 20. I love the idea behind that mech. I really do. Oh, Mad Cat 3. Okay, nice. I'd like to have another one of those guys. I love the look of the Mad Cat. I know I've said it a thousand times, but I really, really do. We're not shooting this turn. Just prepping for next turn. Depending, uh, this is Orion 2C, okay. Now, I don't know if Kerinsky's Orion and the 2C are compatible. It's really unlikely that they are. That guy moves pretty damn fast. Tempting to flank, is he? Yeah, we can't. Uh... That's a back attack. Well, we know where the, we know where uh, what's his name is going to be. Uh, let's reserve this. El Duce is going to put himself right there. Oof. Ugly chances to hit, but we're going to take it. Ah. I guess we should have waited for better eyes on. Should have waited for Griff. That's my fault. Well, he would have moved anyway. Where's he going? We capable of back attack still? Not really. Well, we did some good suppressing fire, though. We had to force him back. He is pretty quick. Let's see. Um, if we can't push this Orion a bit. And firing. Damn it. Missed with the heavy mediums. See, that's what I mean. I don't mind the heavy mediums, but with the such low chance to hit, when you fire them both and they miss, it's like you've just missed 100 points of your damage. Damn it. Okay, I gotta keep in mind these guys are clans and they're fast, so... Clan, fast clans. I don't like the fast clans. Soften this guy up a bit. Oh yeah, nice leg hit. Yeah. Reporting light damage. Standing by. Go after this leg. Firing. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I think I might pull out those heavy mediums. Just a, you know, even like a difference of like 10 or 20% in chances to hit. It can be big if you like you miss with the 50 point damagers. It's like, it's like a huge loss in DPS. Like that's over half of my DP. Well, that's about half of my DPS. Well, 40%. And even with pulse lasers, as long as I get partial hits, at least I'm doing something. But, alright, so... <sighs> figures Griff and Blockade are both... Uh, don't have Ace Pilot. Let's move over here. Let's uh, make this guy non... Come on, ah, you... I walked too. I don't know why that's such a problem. I didn't move that far away from him. Uh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, he didn't even put him on the ground. <laughs> what? His leg is gone. Oh, he's meleeing. Dude, you had like way too much drugs this morning because you don't know what the hell you're doing. So this is a rotary auto cannon 20. We definitely don't want this guy shooting at us. Who the hell thinks of a rotary auto cannon 20? Like, I mean, come on. Um, can we hit them both? We need to hit them both. Now, I don't know if you can put this guy on the ground. He doesn't have a leg. I don't know why he's still standing there. Gonna go this route and fire. Maybe we knock him down. Okay, finally. I don't know why he was still... St See that? Oh, we got him in the head with a 45 damage. Oh, he mad at you. He mad at you. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, but... He didn't move either. Little friend's going last. I know I really shouldn't do this, but I'm greedy as shiz. Greedy as shiz. Rolling. If he gets to shoot at us. See? Two heavy lasers both missed again. Reporting critical hit. I mean, maybe I'm just being too negative on him. I don't know. I think I probably am. But still, I just don't think... Okay, somebody's got to come in for the melee. Look at the look of this thing. It looks so amazing. Light damage. Holding Ready for orders. They're trying to save the Orion. Don't blame them. I can't give this guy my back though. Acknowledge. Out of the ability to push that leg. Yeah, let's put his ass on the ground. Firing. Or we just destroy him, that's good too. I hope we can that. So do I. Maybe we can shoot the head off the little friend too, that would be kind of cool. I think he took a 45 damage to the head. Yeah, see, that's not good. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Thank God he shoot me. Thank God he shoot me.
Need the stability back. Okay, he hit the back. That could have been potentially really dangerous. Uh, we're just going to shoot straight out on this guy. Good enough. And there was two. 40 ton. 55 ton. This guy's got a lot of shiz on him. Be nice to have one of those guys for the light lance. Or the second lance. It is really a light lance, but... Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, I hit enough, though. Because we're not sprinting, that's why. Orders. Start getting some evasion, guys, because we're running into problems here. Ah, oh, shit! Hooray for me! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh. Now I'm sad. You don't have very much armor. El Duchi is going to make short work of your back here. I can't even see. Come on. Decide what you're doing, guys. i got to be able to see how much armor he's got. Ow. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, I think. We're paying for this. It is Clan Wolf, they do hate us, so I mean, I can't complain. It is kind of relatively fair battle. 40 and 35, you're going to be toast here in a second. Hopefully. I can't mess, I can't afford to mess around anymore. We just got to kill these guys. Yep, there's like no point blank range for the uh, Ultra, so that's good. Uh, pulse comes off. Ultra stays on because, damn, <laughs> shredded. Okay, I'm really liking this build. Still got some tweaks to do though. It'd be nice to see what the heavy, um, what that heavy uh, large laser will do to these guys too. All right, that's some good point blank range in this guy's back, or point blank damage. Uh, gotta leave something off, or do we overheat? Let's overheat. I think we'll be okay. Much as I want that guy's parts. Oh, he goes before us. Uh, I thought we were going to get a chance to kill him. He's going to shoot my back now. Because he's an ace pilot. Damn it. That's a big problem. Well, so I guess we rebuilt that guy. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. I didn't think that we were going to get away with this out of fight, did I? Did I think that? I was really stupid if I thought that. Come on, guys, get him for the boss. Man, that's costly. Mission successful. I bet you we lost the Mad Cat. Bet you any money. Look at that, he cored it right through the center. Defense Gyro, XL Engine, which we have. Clan Endosteel we have. Watchdog Suite we have. Pharos we have. I think we got plus one cooling still. I don't know about the 275 engine. Patrick Materials is a loss. Yeah. At least all of the other stuff managed to survive. That's if we get the mech back. Otherwise, we're going to be fighting this stuff in the loot table. Oh. I'm only out for 13 days. It's enough. That's travel time, man. It's travel time. 
All right, there's a little friend parts, Mad Cat three parts. I got a feeling one of these is mine. Let's find out. Exchanger, proof fire control. Ultralight heat bank, cooling pod. I bet you that, yeah, but we lost the mech. Mask, yep, we lost it. Double, there's the pro double heat sinks. We lost our mech, guys. We want. What do we want to keep? Virtual reality pod. We need. We're only getting three. We've got one weapon mount. I want to have two for any rebuilds that we do on a new mech. Is the? I think we got clan masks still, don't we? We got one. Do we have? We already got a prototype double heatsink kit, but it won't matter without all, without all the prototype double heatsinks. It just won't won't make any difference at all. Um, DNI cockpit. Do we have one of these already? We don't. See these two working together. <sighs> Maximum evasion plus three initiative, plus another initiative plus two more evasion. Evasion pips game from move like this is like huge. Hmm. We've got clan endo, right? Yeah, we've got clan pharaoh. <sighs> well, at least it gives us a chance to like, you know, figure something else out for a new mech. Well, I guess we bring the Stormcrow Prime back. It's a good thing we brought the Cougar forward. I am sad. That was bad, but I'm not much we can do about that now. We're going to leave so much good stuff on the ground. Let's hope for a good roll. All right, we got four little friend pieces. That gives us six. Got a Mad Cat part back. Hooray for that. Orion piece. Uh, ER medium. Gauss rifle clan. Ah, oh, God. Junk. All right, so definitely learn my lesson. I think if we're going to be going up against clans like that, yeah. Uh, what we really need to do is um, stay at long range engagements. Moving into point blank range like that, I think was the the big failing. Um, I'm just used to play. I'm used to playing like that, and it's totally my fault. I totally get that. Um, all right, so let's have a look at the star map here and see where we're at. Do we help out at all? Yeah, Jade Falcon, hundred percent. Okay, nice. Uh, battles going on everywhere here now. Four guys over here still. Jade Falcon, Snow Raven. Wow, look at that everyone over here now. Nightmares Marauders is over here. Ten days. That's five skull though. Who's here? They got it full clan wolf control. Yeah, it's going to flip back before tomorrow. Not much I can do about that, but there's a full offensive on right now. Six people here. It's crazy. All right, so let's have a look at the Stormcrow Prime. Got to get that back into battle. Damn it, I love that Mad Cat and it's gone. Ranged engagements. I got to remember ranged engagements. So let's have a look at this guy. He's going to give it a quick refit before we jump out of here. We got time. Well, you know what? We got time to wait. Let's refit a couple mechs today before we end the episode, and then I'll pick up another one right after this one. Uh, so let's pull out this and this. This is all medium pulse, eh? Um, equipment. Let's go. We got heavy pharaoh in here, so we're okay. We want to go down to. Um, weapon mounts. And we want to do. Uh, where are we here? Where are you? At the bottom. Gotta work this in at some point too. Command console. I think that's when we get heavier mechs for sure. Uh, virtual reality pod. And... Can't use the fire control system energy, but we had to leave... We didn't have anything else. In order to use TTS weapons, we need to have a clan uh, fire control system. So I think we leave this one in. 
Got just a regular warfare suite. Now, don't we have clan warfare suite? I think we do, don't we? Where are you? Heat bank. Proto heat sink kit, but no proto heat sinks. We're running low on. Uh, oh, we're not. Sorry, I thought that was the clan heat sinks. Um. Thought we had. Active probe. Do we not have another? Uh, War, like we don't have any other warfare suites, eh? I thought I checked that. Thought we had another clan warfare suite. Guess I was wrong. What are we doing for heat sinking here? Ninety eighty nine. Uh, exchanger. Downgrade that. We don't have a mask on this. So this guy is just going to be moving and shooting. So let's just. Ah, we're forced into the X. We're forced into what we have here. Core plus one. Do we have a plus three? I thought we did. I think I used it though. This would be nice. Uh, yeah, I think I used it. We got a plus two though. So we could pull out a double heatsink for space if we had to. How do we want to do this? This makes these pulse lasers ridiculously accurate, but we'd have to pull out stuff to do this. Um, so it's six tons of weapons we have right now. Let's do this for a second. That's four tons for 70 heat. Proved version, still volatile. I could change from heavy pharaoh to regular pharaoh clan and then case would be equipped. Because I believe clan armor is case enabled, yeah. So it would mi minimize the damage to the arm if it did explode. Uh, maybe. Think about this for a minute. Um, so that's 59 heat. Not bad, not bad. What's the range on this guy again? 510. It's not too bad. Medium laser. These guys are what, 480? 360. That's pirate. We don't want the pirate. Where are the uh, clan ERs or what? 560. It's a better fit. We do this for a second. Let's see what our heat's at. We're dropping now. 93. What if we just do. Oh, God, this is a tough choice. More accuracy. We got a lot of we got a lot of bonus to hit with this guy right now. We just have to hope it hits. This is six tons, right? Yeah. Way too heavy. Um, yeah, I think that's the way we go. Now, do we have patchworks? I don't think we do. We got a 0.25 ton. I think we don't. We have a. Um, We don't. I thought we had a uh, heatsink 
cooling pod, but we do not. The heat bank would be nice. We'd have to strip armor for that, unfortunately. Warfare suites, what, three tons? Yeah, but we, I don't, we don't have anything else. We don't have any, I can't believe we're so low on ECMs. Like, really? We got a regular Guardian ECM. So we go that route, we save two tons. Right? We can fit the heat bank in at that point. And then... Well, if we go with an ER medium, we can cycle these a bit. I just hate having to turn weapons on and off. It almost seems like it's a waste of space at that point. You're only using it like half the time. Uh, yeah, let's do that for now, I guess. With the heat bank, that'll really help out. Um, yeah. This gives us more range too, right? These are 560. These are what? 460? It's only 100 meters. This is 510. We're usually engaging in, in this range anyway. This would give us a bigger alpha, but... That's the other thing, right? If we do this, let's say we do this. Uh, then we can use these from we have better chance to hit. So if we leave off this guy, we're gonna have to shield our right side completely. Because these guys are volatile when destroyed, remember. Um, shielding the right side. Yeah, that would work, I think. Let's try this. Because we can alpha with these guys when we're in close and leave like pulse lasers off if we had to. Right, it's a lot, like we're overheating at like 124, but I think that's probably a pretty good way to go. So let's confirm this one day. Let's see how this works out. It could be wrong, it could be garbage, but uh, the adder needs to do what? What did we lose off the adder? I think it was just a heat sink, wasn't it? Yeah, we lost the clan double heat sink. So I have to keep our eyes open for these because we're starting to get low on them. Oh, no, we're not. Right, I was thinking the... Never mind, I was thinking the heat sink hits again. That's right. All right, so this guy's repaired. Right. I'll get it in the skip. Uh, Jenner. I think it's just the e... Was it just the e-cooling that went down? What did we lose off this guy? Oh, yeah, that's right. We took a lot of damage. LRM-15 went down. Repair it all. So it really was, we just lost the LRM ammo, regular ammo, but someone had mentioned that we should probably be losing the normal ammo. I think it was, once again, I think it was um, Talendel, and then updating it to the Artemis, right? Because we don't, we got plenty of Artemis now, so I dropped that, just swapped it, just watched that back. So now we have all Artemis and Narc. Correct? Correct. We got follow the leader ammo too, right? Bonus damage. Minus 40% to all range brackets. So this is basically like dead fire, right? Yeah. Wait, sorry, this is dead fire. Follow the leader. Right, so we want, you know what? Let's put in the LRM dead fire. Get that nice big point blank punch if we need it. Yeah. Three Artemis, one Narc, and one Deadfire. I think that's perfect. So let's confirm this. 
And then the cougar. Um, I'll let you know when that's done. I guess it's going to be the new command mech. Let's see what we got with this guy. Um, oof. Okay, well, we got to figure out what we're doing. So, equipment. Uh, lower arms. And we can't add any of that stuff. Engine core is fixed speed. We need three heat sinks. So we got heat sinks up here. Just going to do this for now. Max out the armor because we'd be dumb not to. Let's go to the top and let's get the Clan Pharaoh in to start. I think we need more more uh, space to put stuff than anything else. And what are we going to build? How are we going to build this guy? Uh, we're missing our pulse laser build now. So I think maybe that's how we go with this guy. Um, so if we're going to go pulse laser build, breaching shot. This gives us accuracy bonus. Called shot modifier improves. Minus one recoil. So I'm going to go with this. It's going to give us better accuracy. Um, enhanced imaging, we definitely want in there. Powered sensors, sure, that's all we got. Um, we're going to have to start taking some more headpieces here. We're starting to lose out on all our gear. Um, I think that's it. That's not a clan. Yeah, this is like three tons too. We don't want to waste three tons. Definitely need an ECM in here, so let's drop one in. Gonna go with the. We could go with the warfare suite though. Well, we could also go with the mask, which I think is probably a good idea. Um, let's have a look at our pulses. We're gonna drop on at least four. A pair in each arm for now. Heat efficiency has gone into the toilet, but we do have exchangers and stuff. Oh, and we haven't put in the clan double heatsink kit too. Yeah, that makes a big difference. That's clan double heatsink. Kits are right here. Yeah, that's going to help out. And we have our exchanger, which helps out. Yep, even better. So we're getting closer here. Um, Drop in another double heat sink. Let's drop in quarter ton patchwork. Mm, do we need to? Yeah, let's do it. Um, we got four tons left. We could probably put another medium pulse in. We had five on the Stormcrow Prime, so we got five now. So we're not dropping firepower. We just need to make sure we have enough heat sinking now. Um, we have enough space for this? We should. 84.89. Not bad. 0.6 tons remaining. Can't really use it for anything. So we're fine here. I think this is probably a good build. It's the best we're going to get out of it right now. Best, quickest build. So let's confirm this. Three days, 176,000. In a way, I'm kind... Well, I hate to say this. I'm kind of glad I don't have to rebuild the Mad Cat. Because that would have been a lot of C bills. Um, but I'm sad that we lost the mech. So, uh, okay. Navigation, star map, we got time. So let's go and do some work over here. Okay, still got some Jade Falcon in it. Let's travel over there. Our main land should be up and running when we get there. And we'll save the combat for the next episode. Uh, I'm going to run these back to back. Hopefully um, we can keep some of these by the time I record next, which will be in a few days. It'll probably be around the 26th or so. Um... Working hard to try and keep some Jade Falcon going. They've been gone for such a long time. Not even going to look at selling stuff yet. Alright, six more days and then we'll call this episode. So, if you guys like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And tune in for the next one because we're ready to take on some missions here. Um, yeah, and until next time, we'll see you later.